All right, let's apply a 3D foundation with the B squared brush. That's this one, blush and bronzer, and the detail hack brush. These are probably my two favorite brushes. So, um, well, the B squared brush, you can do several things with. You can do your blending with it. It's made for blush and bronzer, hence B squared. So if you do have the Bella Cream Bronzer, which is beautiful, um, then you can, if you bought this brush in the bundle, you can put your bronzer on before your foundation or after, it doesn't matter. So bronzer goes in the high points of your face. So if that's the step that you're doing, it's just gonna go like, think about where you would get sunburnt. So like your nose gets a lot of sun, the tops of your cheekbones, cause it's, it's the highest point. So you can put that there. Some people put a layer of belly all over, like if they're going into summer and their highlight's a little too light. So they just wanna put some of that down first to make their highlight a little darker. Cause we know we don't wanna put light color straight on the skin. So that's the first thing you can do with this brush. If you do have the bronzer or if you're trying to make the, your neck the same color, you can add a little there. Uh, don't be afraid of it. It kind of looks, let me show you, like it can look scary and then you just blend it around no matter where you're putting it. But all right, I know not all of you have a bronzer so I can skip that. All right, so I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna use the small end of the B square brush and you can see my foundations are almost gone. So I'm gonna go into my all over color. So you will literally just tap it like that. Like you're not digging product out with the highlight. Okay, but since mine's almost gone, I have to do a little bit more. So you might see me doing a little more. And we are just going to put that in our beard area, all right? Can you see? Oh, I accidentally did no contour. So this is for people that want light to medium coverage, more light, um, and you will just kind of throw it. Now I'm gonna do very light in that center of my face right there because I know that's where I'm doing contour. So I put more product down here than I did right there in the center because I'm gonna have some contour there. Especially because right now I don't have anything I'm really covering up. If you have like, if your skin tone needs to be evened out more, then you can give yourself a nice little layer of this all over. So I'm gonna do my nose as well. And then I'll put a little bit between my eyebrows and under eye. I'm not doing a ton under eye because that's where I'm gonna put my brightening color. So a little bit there and that's it. Pretty much the layer all over. Um, and I, I did less in the areas where I know, so right here, because I know I'm gonna put different colors there. Okay, I did not do anything on my forehead. So we just co totally skipped that area and just get, and you can tell you can't really see it much because it's, it's supposed to look like the color of my, the main part of my skin. So you're not seeing a ton of difference. It's just evening it out. And if you need to even out more, you'll add, you can stipple on to get more coverage. You can add more product, uh, but we don't want too much. I mean, there, I just want you to see there's very little on there. Okay, next, I'm gonna go into my little, my brighter shade. You can see sunlit is much lighter than my other color. Now, I put some of the other, the darker color down first. If you put a color that's too light on here, you're gonna show texture, so you don't wanna do that. Um, you can, you have a choice, you can mix the two. So I'm going into my all over and my brightener. Okay, and I'm gonna put that right under eye. It's not exact. I'm going all the way up to my lash line, all the way down to the end of my nose. See that area? So that like pie shaped area, we're just giving a little extra brightness. Same thing between the eyebrows and up in like a little palm tree because we're gonna do it down the center of our nose in a minute after we contour. Okay, so I just gave myself a little extra brightening in that area. You can go a little heavier if you've got dark circles. Um, for some reason, mine don't look as horrible today. Maybe because I'm in a room with a lot of natural light. Maybe it's just being forgiving, I don't know. But I'm gonna bring that all the way kind of back here, all the way down to the edge of my nose, boom. All right, let's switch to our detail hack brush to our contouring. The contour is a little drier. So when the other one I barely dabbed, the contour I am kind of picking up a little product. I need, so remember we didn't put any of the highlight colors here because we're darkening this area. So I'm just using contour up here. I'm starting way back in my super huge forehead long and you know, I'm balding right there from all the years of ponytails. So, you know, it's cool. Um, whatever, I'm 30. So darkening that, coming down to where I did that light part between my eyebrows darkening our forehead. Then, I'm grabbing a little more product. I'm gonna go on, on my cheekbones, not down here under them. I wanna keep mine high. And remember, think about if you wear stripes this way, you're gonna broaden yourself out. I'm trying to keep my, as close, I mean, obviously you can't do vertical, but as diagonal as possible. If you don't have like big cheekbones, you can even draw in a little like Nike swoosh there to give yourself more cheek than you have. I got, I got plenty of cheek, so. 
don't have to do that and that'll be different based on your face shape but I am going at that downward angle like that and it is very high okay you can bring it a little lower you can spread it out to meet that other part of the contour because it's going to be in a three okay so we can go ahead and drag some under here to sharpen our jawline you don't want to have a makeup line so look up and blend it down okay so that's where our contour line. I kind of spread it out at the back and it tapers down here at the front okay see how see where that's at again I'm feeling where my natural bone is and you can stamp right on the top of it okay or on it if you don't like it as high as I like mine but not under it because we do want to keep them high okay I want you to I'll show you the difference I used to contour lower and it makes a big difference okay there I'm gonna take the rest I'm gonna rub it off under my lip to make it look like it's sticking out bigger kind of give it a little more definition and then we're gonna take, I love this brush because we're taking the side of it and dipping it in the contour. And we are going to draw a line, two lines, right down, get a little more on that side. You can just stamp it. But look how much thinner, narrower our nose is gonna look. Can you see, you wanna see a little closer? Two lines down, you don't wanna accidentally make them go apart at the bottom. Worst case scenario, they come closer together at the bottom if they're not straight. I'm gonna darken under there a little bit. See how it's left me a nice little button nose? Flip to the other side and go back to that brightening color we did under eyes. And do a straight line down between the two dark lines to be like, nope, that's my nose. Just that little line right there is my nose. All right, and again, I'm in that brightening color. Just give myself a little extra brightness there. Give myself a little button nose. And then I like to take the rest of the brightener and do a little bit here. Look how much more it's gonna make my lips stand out because I have those really thin lips. You can even do them on these little bumps that I'm sure have a name. And keep the light in the center of her face and make a little pointy chin. And then you can just blend that around. So it's not too dark. Okay, now those are a little bonus. I mean, you don't have to do that if you're in a hurry. Um, and then next, we do our blush. And then we're, we're done. Okay, and you can do your blending around with your fluffy end. You can do it with a sponge, but since you have this brush, it'll just pick up excess product. Boom, you're good. And we're gonna take our blush color. Remember, you can mix them, our lip and cheek color. And we're just gonna put that right at the top. See, I'm just kind of dotting it on there with the small end of the B squared brush. And now my cheekbones look really high. Now, I, I, I'm gonna show you, you can ask me if you wanna see it. There's a picture of like the placement and if you do your blush like down here, it's just crazy the lift you get if you do your cheekbones a little high. Now you can go heavier with it. That's just a total preference on amount of product that you put on. Your blush is gonna last you forever. And there you go. It all just comes together. We wanna blend it up, 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 up. We wanna keep our cheekbones high. We don't wanna blend it down. I'm just kind of circling it back and then I can take my lip and cheek, add it to my lips. You want to make it longer, add some powder over top of it. I love adding a powder illuminator over the top of it and you're done. And that was eight minutes with me walking you through it step by step. You'll be able to do it much faster um, as you get used to the process and you're not just explaining it. That's it. Mascara would be nice. <laughs>